Look at you. Walking in here like you're one of us. Don't you know this is Powder Ganger territory? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. All right, you can go on in. Can't guarantee your safety, though. Just saying. Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. Yeah, whatever. Never gets old when something blows up. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? I was a sheriff, believe it or not. For a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. And I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. All right, then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. Have you gotten my pardon from the NCR yet? All right, ask away. I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. There's an NCR camp down there on the southern border of Nevada. Camp Mojave, I think. Try to find someone of authority there. Watch yourself out there.
You like that? Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make them pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met them, and they weren't the lying type either. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Those two? Represents unification. Mostly good for shade. Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight, he can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Watch yourself.
Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? One of the Powder Gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? All right. If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there owes us a favor. That couldn't hurt. Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Me? I'm Knight. Major Knight. I've been stuck here dealing with these caravans for ages now, but somebody's got to do it. That ain't so bad. If Caesar's Legion decides to push west through Nipton, old Mojave outpost here will be the front line. NCR border guard duty mostly. It's our job to make sure the caravans can move safely along I-15 and Highway 95. Not the best posting or assignment, but it beats being sent east or patrolling the Colorado. Legion's pretty thick there. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Soldiers, no. Recruits, yes. And the Mojave outpost has been ordered to have a standing force at the NCR perimeter at all times. So sending anyone out reduces the outpost's numbers, and would be in direct violation of my orders from back west. Sending more troops, yes. To reinforce the outpost, no. Troops head through here on their way to McCarran, or to the front lines of Forlorn Hope. Or they're on leave, on their way to New Vegas to piss away their pay. All of them, passing through. Frustrated? No, I have my orders. Signed and approved all the way up the chain from Kimball. And I understand the reasons. The outpost isn't a Legion target, yet. Not like Vegas or the Dam. But if the caravans get choked here, that's gonna bite NCR hard. Anyway, didn't mean to talk your ear off. Some days, just feel like more requisition forms and daily reports come across my desk than results. Help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Hello. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Got my post. Don't think I wouldn't go, too. If trouble's hit Nipton, town's got enough camping spots to rack up some easy kills. Not about to have Jackson bust my ass again, though. Even if I came back with Caesar's head, I'd rather be sitting here than in a cell. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. 
Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Not much to tell. One of the worst posts in the NCR if you're looking to be anything more than a babysitter. Full up here, but just enough so we can't send out patrols. Gotta maintain a standing force. Jackson's orders. NCR's orders. Can't spare men for patrols or escorts, so caravans are backing up here like a Brahmin with a bottle in its ass. Mm, typical NCR bullshit. Kimball's Kimball. Not sure which end is his ass or his head. Caravan families are causing trouble. Big circle getting tense. The usual. Look, you want gossip? Go to the bar downstairs and listen to a whole lot of nothing. Me? I gotta keep watch, then fill out the daily log. Mind yourself on the plank going down. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Work around here? Might check with Jackson in the main building, or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. Don't tell her I said that, though. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the latrine. Not too much. A lot of caravans going nowhere. A lot of troopers going nowhere, too. A few prospectors here and there, but they don't do more than stink up the place. Everybody's backed up here. You'd think it'd be good for business, but most of the traders are tight with the caps, even the larger caravan outfits. Take a look. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Looking for trouble? Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. All right? No, I'm not all right. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm not from around here, and I'm not NCR. I run a caravan. Or did. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line, and the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Yeah, he's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. So he doesn't do anything. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. What's on your mind? If you're looking to sign on with the caravan? No. Traders are bottled up tight here. Caravan works up north. Check with the Crimson Caravan, maybe. Gunrunners might have work. Wouldn't know for sure, though. Still, if you got a gun, guts, and feeling like going on patrol, maybe some of the soldiers around here have work for you. Jackson might have something for you if you haven't already spoken to that old buzzard. He was looking to try to get troops to clear the North Road. You can find him over in the other building. The one without a bar. I don't know. Seems to be a lot of attention on Nipton. Word is, one of the snipers in the nest on the roof spotted smoke from the east. Yeah, her name's Ghost or something. Fucking scary. Ooh. Guess it's because you'll never see her till you're dead. NCR and their goddamn nicknames. As if Caesar himself's gonna piss and run if he hears them. 
Anyway, go on and head up top. Ask her what's going on if you haven't already. I don't much give a shit. You take care now.
appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supply, and I meant it. I'm allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go, just between us. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. I suppose you could talk to Ghost up on top of the barracks. Uh, Ranger Ghost. Something about trouble in Nipton, maybe. Not exactly sure. Radio's been on the fritz, and since I haven't heard any shooting, I don't think it's urgent. Can't hurt to go ask her. Thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. Watch yourself out there. Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do anything to feel safe. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Just mosey on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Right up against that gun. Mint condition. Never fire. Have you gone loco, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. You're plum loco, partner. Quit yammering on about missing guns, partner. Prim Slim's a busy man. Ain't got time for that sort of bosh. Happy trails, partner. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. Got a new sheriff, as you know. Meyer's a bit rougher hewn than I might have liked, but he seems like a good sort. So far, so good. Things are pretty good with Myers watching over us. I can give you a little bit of a discount. What do you want now? Yeah, whatever. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Damn, running low on smokes again. Hey! Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. I was an NCR medic for six months, so I'm not exactly a doctor. Still, it's more medical training than any of the other guys here. It also gives me an excuse to stay out of any raiding parties. The gang can't lose its only doctor now, can it? Medical supplies go for a decent amount of caps in the right markets. I figured the quartermaster wouldn't notice any missing. I was wrong. Let's see. I've been a farmhand, a bouncer, a bandit, and an NCR trooper. I don't recommend any of them. The location by the highway makes it a good spot to shake down any travelers passing through. That's why Eddie and the rest are still around. Me, I like having big walls between myself and the wasteland. One night, there was a big explosion from the other cell block. I had no idea what was going on, so I took cover in my bunk. 
When it was all over, the guards were dead and we were free. Most of the other prisoners scattered, but a few of us stuck around, obviously. Later. Dahl said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? Why do you care? Answer, you shouldn't. I don't feel like trading life stories. The NCR called it a work release prison. We lucky prisoners got the privilege of fixing up the rail lines and blasting rock for new lines. They got sloppy though. Some of us managed to hide away some dynamite and look who's in charge now. One mean son of a bitch. Really truly hates the NCR for some reason. And he got a lot of the other guys around to his way of thinking. He and his crew went north. I heard talk about some sort of big plan to get back at the NCR, but haven't seen them since. Yeah, get out of here. What are you looking at? Why? It's because I mess up people so bad they don't know what part goes where when I'm done. Not much. Just killed a bunch of people. Maybe a couple kids, too. Whatever. Dynamite. Lots and lots of dynamite. You should have seen the body parts flying everywhere. I keep an eye on my buddy Eddie. Anybody messes with him and I scramble them real good. Uh-huh. Take cover! Now it's already four hours! I've got one! Come on! What have you done?
appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Take care. Cool your heels over in the barracks if you want. See that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Not for long. I met her on the road a few days ago, and we've been traveling together since. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. I will. That's the last time I pick up a straggler on the road, believe me.
Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah! Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> Later. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Where to begin? That they are weak, and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution? Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Ha! Innocent. Hardly. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us, yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, crucified, and burned, one by one. They stood and hoped their turn would not come. Each cared only for himself. As are all crimes, if you feel strongly about it, attack us, and soon you won't feel a thing. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. 
That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... All right, thanks for checking on that. We should set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. In Nipton? Hell no. Town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting. But, orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell. And all I can do is sit here and watch. Are you fucking kidding me? First I get my legs smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking Reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ. If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky cuz it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs and the winner, they let go free. Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged him off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for second place was I got to live. But they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? Bullshit. You're holding. You just want it all for yourself. Like what? Later. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more like this.